Algebra 1, next lesson on least common multiples. And you'll see it's referred to as LCM. And what we're doing is we're looking for what is the smallest number that both of those numbers will go into, right? That's our least common multiple. And over here in this one, we're going to find the smallest number that all three of those things will go into, okay? That we'll divide into. Let's see if we can figure out how to do that. We're going to do that by using what's called a factor tree, okay? So we're going to factor these things into the smallest prime number that we can get them into, okay? So let's factor 30, okay? So what is 30? I think 30 is 3 times 10, don't you? Then what? What's 10? Does 10 factor? Yes, that's 2 times 5. And none of those things factor, do they? So that's this is the factor tree for 30. 3 times 2 times 5, okay? Let's factor 42. 42, I think, is 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. Remember that from your multiplication table. That's prime, but 6 is factorable. So again, it's 3 times 2, okay? Now, to find the least common multiple, we're looking for common things in both of these, okay? So this guy has a 3. This guy has a 3. This guy has a 2. That guy has a 2. And this guy's a 5, and that guy has a 7. Those don't go together, do they? So the least common multiple is we're looking at those things that each of them share in common. We'll write those first. So 3 times 2 times what's, what's left. There's a 5 left, and there's a 7 left. Okay? So... For these two numbers, the least common multiple is 3 times 2, which is 6, times 5, which is 30, times 7, which is 210. Okay? How do you do that? 7 times 30. 7 times 30. You know, the way I do it is this. 7 times 3 is 21, and then the 0, put one extra 0 on it, right? And that's where the 210 is. Okay? So the number 210 is the least common multiple for 30 and 42. 30 goes into 210 about 7 times. 42 goes into 210 5 times. So it's a, it, it, it is a multiple. If you multiply that guy times 5, 210. This guy times 7, 210, right? So it's a common multiple. Okay? Let's, and, and the least means it's the smallest that it can possibly be. So 210 is the least. Let's see if we can do these guys over here. Okay, factor the 10. Well, the 10 factors into a 5 and a 2. Mm, that's it, right? The 12, how about a 4 times a 3? And 4 is factorable again, isn't it? That's a 2 times 2. Okay, and then the 50, factor that guy. Okay, so that's 5 times 10. Five's prime, but that guy's factorable. Again, two times five, okay? Now, again, we're just gonna go through and look at those things that are common and match them up, okay? So you've got a two, you've got a two, and you've got a two, there's one. Uh, but we'll draw a different shape around the next one. Is anybody common? Oh, here's a five, we'll do squares. There's a five. And then uh, anybody else common? Mm, no. A 2, a 3, and another 5. Okay, so here we go. So the least common multiples are, let's do the squares. That's 5. Times the circles. That's a 2. Times now all the leftover guys, right? Times 2. Times 3. Times 5. Okay? And so the least common multiple for 10, 12, and 50 is 5 times 2 is 10 times 2 is 20, times 3, 20 times 3, 20, 40, 60, and then 60 times 5, remember, 60 times 5, what's 5 times 6? That's 30, right? Put another 0 on it, so it's 300, okay? And so 300 is our least common multiple for that set of numbers. Okay? That's how you find the least common multiple. All right, next lesson.